Welcome back to Peter Goldberg. Today we're going to be talking about the major in biology. Is it worth your time, money, and efforts? This is an immensely popular concentration for students. In fact, I think the figure I saw was that around 4% of the existing workforce has some form of a biology degree. And you might look at these overall stats on the screen and go, ah, it's not too bad. A growing number of degrees awarded. It's a pretty high average wage. But you have to keep in mind these are macro level as sort of uh, an accumulation, and that could be referring to someone who's worked for the government 15 or 20 years. And therefore, don't fall in love with statistics that sound good, because they can be impacted by a lot of things, even over the course of four years when you're in college. Now, certainly with biology, even though it is STEM, it's not a great terminal degree. If you have plans beyond the four years, absolutely, but you have to be kind of careful and uh, put the adequate amount of work in towards what you're eventually trying to achieve. And that sounds kind of generic and cliche, but a lot of people just don't do it when it comes to college. We can glide over to the BLS here, biological technicians. You see a 5% growth rate, but not all that much as far as the total number of jobs. And then biological scientists, you know, a reasonable amount, but again, not the cutting edge, oh, sign you up, you write whatever salary you want. And salary is not everything, but if you have accrued a bunch of debt, it's going to play a pretty important role. My advice is, regardless of the route that you take, if you're going to pursue biology, make sure you go to a decent public research university where you're going to have opportunities to you know, join research projects. Sometimes you have study abroad that involves research or you can go to specific seminars, build good relationships with professors, because all of that's going to matter whether you're trying to go to medical school or going the route of, you know, actually trying to get a PhD. It's always about one step after the other. It's not just, okay, I'm going to be that. Well, you have to do the due diligence along the road. And one of the reasons why it's so popular, of course, is that a lot of folks want to do pre-med. This stat right here indicates that of all those who actually apply to medical school, around 41% get accepted. Now, if we're talking about an Ivy League, it's going to be a lot lower. The other stat I came across is that of all the folks who actually start as pre-med, oh, I'm going to be a doctor, only 17% actually end up in medical school because they start taking orgo and it's like, nah, not going to happen. Well, if you stay with the biology degree, let's say, okay, I'm not going to take all these difficult classes, you could have a very fancy piece of paper that isn't necessarily going to provide an automatically a decent job. And so you have to have some kind of alternative. And it might be a person who actually did well at the science but just didn't want to go the doctor route or just didn't get in. You have to have contingencies. And this is where... A couple of different options are available, and there's going to be more, but these are some primary ones that I've seen people do. Uh, first off, I've known a few people that got their biology degree and then went in the direction of nursing. I'm just going to advise you, though, if you want to be in the medical field, you don't really feel you're going to go to medical school or you just don't get accepted. If you're still, to some extent, you are in college, just consider the nursing school. Do the four-year registered nurse. It'll give you good career opportunities. You might move up to be like a nurse practitioner or do the anesthesiologist position, a nurse position, because those are actually solid careers. Don't do the two-year nursing degree. Don't just come out with your biology degree and then hang around for a couple of years because otherwise you're going to have to go back and take additional courses you could have just done in one whole sequence and get your degree. So... I realize if you have biology already and you're graduated, this is not as useful, but you can go back to school. I would just say, consider that before you even graduate. Is there a nursing program? Can you do it? How many other additional classes do you need? Because that will definitely lead to some kind of job. The other option is, of course, to become a research scientist if you're very passionate about the life sciences. This is where Going to that public or private research university where you have opportunities to join labs, perform your own research, or assist with it is really crucial. I had a close friend, brilliant guy, and this is what he did. 
Uh, and he was on track, had like a fully funded PhD, I believe. And unfortunately, he had some personal issues and, you know, he's no longer with us, which is a shame because sometimes the people who are the least understood by the world can actually have the biggest impact. In any case, if you're going to do this, there are options. There's not like a ton of jobs, but if you get to the master's and PhD level, you're a little bit more insulated because not everyone has a master's or PhD. So that's where, you know, do the research projects, work with your professors. If there are student groups related or you can travel to other campuses, be involved in projects, even volunteering, you need to be doing that stuff because all the experience you get works towards the idea that, okay, this person is competent and can perform research at the level of a PhD. Uh, lastly, and probably not as illustrious as being a doctor or a nurse or a scientist, you could become a scientific teacher. Uh, there is a big shortage, of course, and most of the openings for teachers are not social studies or English. They are math, science, and ESL. So while that's not exactly, oh, wow, you know, you're saving the world, it's a stable income with decent benefits and some time off. And what you can do is, if you are going to do your four-year degree in biology, if your school has an educational program, you can simply stay, it's typically one year more, and you get your master of teaching. So you have a licensed position as a teacher. You can go out and get a position in private or public school, or you can go abroad and teach. And that's one option for those who aren't necessarily interested in continuing with the medical field or doing higher level uh, scientific research. So that's my thoughts on the degree in biology. If there are any others you want to see discussed, just drop them below.